Hey guys, welcome back to some more Metal Gear Solid 3. Man, it feels like forever since I've played this, but it's, it's probably only been like four or five days. Uh, last time a shit ton of stuff happened, didn't it? We got tortured, we lost an eye, we escaped by jumping out of a sewage waterfall, we fought a ghosty man, and now we are here. We need to meet up with Eva to get our shit back. Um... Just noticing our stamina could do with a little bit of a boost. Oh, that was a poison mushroom. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what a great start. Oh, shit. It's the antidote I needed to use. God damn it, mage. I am rusty as hell. Look at the butterflies. Oh, they're so pretty. There is nothing more manly than two butterflies fighting. And I saw that the other day. I was like, in real life, I mean. It's just the most epic thing ever. Uh, now, I'm not going to fork this goat to death, because that would just be me. Um, yeah, I think I mentioned last time, if you don't take the transmitter out of your body, by the time you get here, there is an ocelot unit uh, in weight, which makes this a whole hell of a lot harder, because you don't have anything really to fight back. Although, we do have ammo for the single-action army. Yes! Oh, yes! You're pretty good, huh? Oh yes. I love it. Fucking love it. Um, where's the frog? I think we saw that last time. Let's just, uh, let's just head straight to Eva. We can't really do much here until we get our gear back anyway. It's a, it's a, it's probably one of the most pretty areas in the game, and I always, I mean, it is pretty safe as well, unless, of course, you don't get the, uh, the transmitter out. Ooh, it's a log. That's... Let's walk along this log. Yeah, it's just so serene and so sunny and... Oh, very nice. So yeah, I think uh, here's whereabouts you'd find the first Ocelot members. And they are a real pain in the tits to get past. And there's the waterfall. This is the place. Now, is there anything... over here? Is there anything in this log? No. Although, I guess that'd be a handy place to sneak through, maybe. You want to climb on it, Snake? Come on, dude. Dude! Okay. Well, I guess you just gotta go through it. Or we'll bypass it completely. Um... Ah. These are some medicinal plants, I believe. Come on, snake. Come on. There you go. Cold medicine, which, yeah, you might have a cold uh, if you spend too much time in the water, especially in our current state. But uh, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Um, I'll come back and do a quick sweep of the area in a moment. We've got a few cutscenes to watch. can only mean one thing. Mm, feel that wood snake. Feel it. I mean, come on. <laughs> it's such a need for it. Quite the, the Batman entrance. She is good with that bike, though. Nice to meet you, Snake. I'm Tatiana. Wait, she was Tatiana this whole time? No. Here's your equipment. Thank you. Eva, you could use a towel. So could you. A <laughs> little bit of humor. Nice. Oh, we get to save. Uh, well, I don't really need to.
Time to chow down on some tasty fish and some tasty snakes. And, yeah. Eva's... Uh, yeah. Hi. Want some? No, thanks. You're missing out. Don't like snakes? Not for dinner. Oh. Didn't you have to eat them at the KGB? In my training, we always got the good stuff. French, Italian. That kind of thing. A regular Matahari. The least you could do is call me Cynthia. Tell me something. How does it feel to spy on your own country? I can't say it feels good, but it's my job. Can't even eat a snake during a mission, huh? I wouldn't mind eating you. Ho ho! This all just got rather uh, heated. <laughs> Look at his face then. When this mission's over, you'll have to treat me to a nice dinner. What do you want to eat? Let's see. How about sushi? Ugh. Sushi? It's Japanese. I hear it's all the rage right now. Supposedly, it's made from raw fish. Raw fish? Raw fish? Just a place for my survival techniques. <laughs> what a thrill. The darkness and silence through the night. Snake? Thank you, Snake. I'll be your eyes from now on. I'm searching and I'm melting to you. What a fear in my heart. But you're so supreme. Thank you. Snake. Damn. Literally getting heated now. You see the fire? Don't worry about it. Are you alright? It's not like I can't see. I've got one good eye and can still fire a gun. Really? Good. Hmm. That was a bit of a mood killer. Do feel sorry for him, though. Alrighty. Back in business. Oh yeah, look at that eye patch. Didn't you steal some explosives out of the fortress? C3, a highly potent explosive from the West. It can be molded into any shape, like clay. With just this much, you could blow up the Shagohat and the lab along with it. Is that right? Yeah. But there's a trick to using it. Tell me about it. Well, what do you think? Oh. The Shagohad's booster unit uses liquid fuel. The fuel tanks are in the main wing of the weapons lab in the hangar housing the Shagohad itself. So I should blow up the tanks. That's the basic idea. It should be enough to blow up the entire hangar. There are four fuel tanks. In order to destroy the hangar, you'll have to set explosives on each of those tanks. All four of them? It should be no sweat for you. Besides, the scientists had the day off today. So the hangar's completely deserted. Not quite. They've still got guards posted there. So what do I do after I set the C3? The bombs run off a timer. Once the timer has been set, the countdown will begin. When the timer reaches zero, the bombs will all go off at once. How long do I have? 20 minutes. Once the phase two trials are finished, I wouldn't be surprised if they kill all the scientists to prevent them from talking. So you've got to act fast. I'll take care of it. Eva, 
Did you get the data on the Shagahod from Sokolov? Yeah. That's the mission I was given. By Khrushchev? Mm-hmm. America doesn't have any use for it, does it? Huh. But I haven't forgotten my other mission, either. Helping you out. <laughs> Follow this cave and go up the ladder at the end. You'll come out inside Groznygrad, just southwest of the weapons lab. Do you remember when you went to rescue Sokolov? Remember there was a locked door when you entered the main wing from the second floor of the east wing? Yeah. That's the entrance to the Shagohad's hangar. Use this key to open that door. The door right when I entered the main wing? Got it. What about you? I'll get things ready for our escape. There's a rail bridge to the north. I'm gonna set a bomb there, so I'm taking half of the C3 with me. Right. I'll set off the weapons lab then. Try not to be in the neighborhood when it happens. Gotcha. And watch out for Ocelot. He suspects you're not who you say you are. Don't worry. The Colonel still trusts me. And I have my ways. There's not a man alive who can resist my charms. Uh. Besides you, of course. <laughs> I'm just warning you, Eva. That's all. I know. Okay, let's go. You seem like you were born on one of those. <laughs> if I didn't ride every day, I couldn't go on living. Huh? When I'm riding, the wind hits me so hard that it hurts. That pain keeps my mind off the pain of having to be someone else. It's not easy always fooling myself like this. It's only when I'm on the bike that I'm free to be the real me. I only get off my bike when I fall in love or fall dead. What's your name? Tatiana. No. Your real name. <laughs> What's wrong with Tanya? Uh, okay, Tanya. Don't let anyone see you. Huh? Oh, this? It's a button camera. What did you do that for? Insurance. To make sure you don't double cross me. Hey. What? You're gonna get wet again. God damn it, Eva. I feel fancy. But yeah, some cool cutscenes there. It's, uh. Yeah, that, that line she just said, the whole, you know, fall off her bike and. You, you know what I mean. Anyway, it's, uh. Just remember it. Okay. Snake is rocking that eye patch, man. How badass does he look? About a hundred million percent more badass. Um. Yeah, and, and really it doesn't affect your vision that much. I mean, you can see it's blacked out a little bit on the right. It ain't too bad. Um, so we've got all of our shit back now, so that means we should really uh, get rid of some of the load. Let me equip the rations. We don't need the fork anymore. We won't be using the single action army for a little bit. Got our track gun back. Survival knife. And I think that's probably all we're going to need for a little bit. Um... We don't need the freaking camera. Or the cigar. Uh, we'll keep the life medicine equipped. Right, well, I'm actually not going to head straight down the tunnel towards Groznygrad. I'm going to go back into this area. Oh, in fact, I'll equip the, uh, uh, the mouse traps that we found. Where are they? Mouse traps. Um, just because I want to try something, I don't know if it's going to work. Um, I want to try and catch the mythical serpent, the Suchinoko, which uh, is the rarest snake in the game, because uh, you can only capture it via mouse traps. Um, I have only caught it 
in the area where the fear was fought, so I don't know if we can catch it here or not. I've been told you can, by the wonders of the internet, but uh, I guess we'll find out. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to place some mouse traps down in sort of any old place. I don't really know if there's any ideal spot. I'm just going to plonk them down. And what you got to do in order to get them to fill up, you leave the area and you come back. And there should be food on the floor. So let's see if we if we got lucky. That's a telltale sound that something has been caught, but what's it gonna be? Oh, nothing in this one. Crab. Crab. A bird. That's not good. Uh, we'll probably have to empty our cages. Let's eat this. We've not eaten this yet, have we? Hey, this works. Crap. Okay, so we didn't get lucky that time. And just crawl over him to get him back. Apparently, you can find one here. But, yeah, it looks like... I mean, I'm not going to try again, but that's basically what you do. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. I, I've caught it in my other file. It's... It's just a cool thing to find, if you can. But, um... Oh shit, we've lost a mousetrap. Who's moved the mousetrap gun? I put five down. Where's the, where's the other one? Did it disappear? Ah, fuck it, it doesn't matter. We're not going to use them ever again, anyway. Um... So, no quip. Right, there we go. So, we've got to get all the way back to the main hangar. Uh, which is going to take some doing, but we do have our equipment this time, so at least we can track people. Ooh, what's this? Ah, and a suppressor. Excellent. Now, one thing we should have in our inventory is a different kind of camo. The spirit camo, yes. Which, uh... I can't remember what that does. I'm not sure if it's something to do with hearing... Pe no, I, am I getting this right? Hearing people's thoughts? That, I mean, he is a medium, but... Uh, anyway, we've got the spirits... Uh, the spirits. The sorrows camo. So we have all of the cobra's camo, apart from the goddamn furies, which I... So annoyed I missed. Oh well. Alright, we've got a tunnel with bats. Let's not disturb them. Always like this tunnel though, it's kind of uh I don't know, another suppressor. I think it's the sounds that I like the most. this? Oh, cardboard box B! Oh, we got a new cardboard box, guys! Nice. Now there's a frog somewhere in this tunnel, I think. Have I missed it? I seem to remember there being a frog in this tunnel, but I could be wrong. I can hear a frog, but I think that might just be a real frog. I could have swore there was a frog in this tunnel. There must be one in this area somewhere. It's not in this cave, is it? I just want to find it for when I go through this on my own. So to speak. Where the hell's the frog? Uh, I do remember it being sort of well hidden. 
Oh, hang on. Is it... Is there an opening in the ceiling somewhere? Uh, maybe I've run past it. Maybe I've missed it. I don't know. This is over here. I don't see it. Ah, whatever. Anyway, there is a frog somewhere. Oh, unless it's in here. Rations. Yeah, I mean, you get all your equipment back, but you don't get all your food back. That's a shame. We had a lot of freaking noodles and calorie mates. Uh, let's have a quick chat with the Major. We've not spoken to him in a while. Snake, I see you've recovered your weapons and equipment. Now I can finally go on the offensive. Time to pay Volgin back for what he did to you. Goddamn right. Yeah, and then some. But first, you've got to destroy the Shagohod. The Shagohod is in the hangar in the main wing of the weapons lab. Go back to Groznygrad, make your way into the hangar, and destroy the Shagohod. You can get back into Groznygrad by going to the end of the cave behind the waterfall. Head back to Groznygrad. Will do. Yeah, Volgin's gonna pay. He is gonna pay for what he did to Stokolov, uh, but more specifically, the ultra beating that he gave me. Because that was that was hard to watch. I still, to this day, find that difficult. It's so brutal. Oh, and it is. Bright as day. Good job there was no one around. Oh shit. <laughs> Damn, how lucky is that? Ooh. That guard is a dumbass. How the fuck did he not see us there? <laughs> uh. Whew. Okay, we are in. Grozny Ground Round 2. Let's do this. Northwest. So this is where all the tanks are. You see there's a guard dog down there. So this is kind of where we got spotted last time. Um, I'm going to change my camo. To something a little more... Well, I think split is the best way to go, isn't it? Yep. I'd say so. Okay, so let's head. So that's the that's where we found Sokolov. We need to head to that massive hangar there. So we'll go through the door that we came through last time. Um, I suppose at this point it's it's and you could have done this before. You got there for the first time, but you can sort of explore the place a little bit now. Holy shit! What is he? What is he crouched down for? Why have I got my lethal gun out? Oh, you trying to trick me, game. That's it, you turn around. Oh my god, there's so many guards. Holy shit. Oh no, 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 no. No, no, no. That's it, that's it. Go to sleep. That's it, guys. You have a nice little kip. Oh shit, is he gonna see him up top? Just to be safe. You don't want to get spotted. It's going to be a decent shot. Ooh, one our suppressor just broke. Okay. Phew. Right, so that's... There's another one dude up there. I'm going to take him out as well. Oh my god. So many dudes. Oh yeah! 
Losing an eye doesn't fucking make a difference. Snake is just that good. I mean, I, I probably could have sneaked past these guys, but you know what? I'm sick of being spotted. We've got our Trank gun back. We are taking out everyone I can freaking see. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a different way of getting into the place, actually, but we're going to go back this way. To the northeast. Oh god, yeah, this is this is the bit where they're doing the drills. Bastard. <laughs> yeah, they're doing uh you'll see in a second. They're running up and down the shop. It reminds me a lot of uh sneaking through the tanker in MGS2. Look, they're all running this way, so that's a really bad way to go. Waste invaluable ammo, guys! Camera's not actually that great, that. There we go. So, unfortunately, the door we need to get to is all the way past those pricks. So, is there actually a better way of doing this? Because, uh, I don't really want to have to go past them. Ooh, there is. There is a different way. Let's go back into this area a second. Hopefully, the, the guards shouldn't have woken up. But there looks to be another either door or a little hole in the wall we can use. Uh, am I looking at this right? If we go this way, hopefully no one will see me. That guard dog's still sleeping over there. Uh, am I going the right Hang on a sec. Shit, no, I'm going the wrong way. Well, I'm going the completely wrong way. I think it was that door we can go through. Let me just... I'm trying to make sure I don't... Uh... Yeah, this can, this can bypass a lot of that shit. As long as this area isn't too tough. Oh shit. He's so close. Alright, go to sleep buddy, I just shot you in the ass. That should take effect. Fairly soon. Go to sleep. Yeah, that. Oh no, I shot him in his. In his oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> no, no, dude. Leaning against the truck. Someone's gonna find him and totally think he's just bunking off. That's great. Okay. Please don't be anyone close around this corner. I mean, 65 camo's okay. 70 is better. He shouldn't see me. And if we go through this door, we should be okay. Just keep an eye out. You don't want to get spotted at this point. Uh-oh. You sneaky little shit. should be okay. We should be shielded from those uh, those dudes running back and forth. Oh my god. Bastard. <laughs> they do not like their drill instructor. Okay. On the double. Just gotta watch out. There might be a guard around this corner. But once we get back into the east wing... We should be able to use our scientist uniform again. I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend using the uh, the Rykov one though. I don't know. I don't know if that would work. I'm kind of tempted to try it, but I don't want to risk getting seen. Now is he? He's going to get spotted, isn't he? If I shoot him there. 
I wonder if he's going to come back a bit closer. But yeah, I think the scientist's uniform should still work, except in the main hangar itself, because Eva did say the scientists have the day off today. Oh, so maybe it won't work then. Maybe I... W Ooh, shit. Maybe I'll have to use the Rykov one. Hmm. But what if the... Because the real Rykov's gonna be in there, isn't he? Or does it think that you actually killed him? I don't know, because we, we only knocked him out. I wonder if, what happens if you kill him and take his uniform. Hmm. That dude's completely disappeared now, which is worrying. Where the fuck has he gone? I should have I should have taken him out when he had the chance. I'm gonna get so seen around this corner. Where is he? Oh that is that him? Oh god. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Okay. It's amazing the different atmosphere this place has during the day. It's completely different. Right, we're in. So, do I try the colonel uniform? Or the officer's uniform, or whatever it is. Uh, I'm going to try it. I really don't remember if this is going to work. You know what, actually? I mean, it'll autosave anyway. It doesn't really matter if I get seen. So, I am going to... I'm going to try this. I mean, we look damn freaking cool in that uniform with the eye patch. But, uh... <laughs> look, we've got an eye closed. How freaking cool is that? Just looks like Rykov's just permanently winking at everyone. Okay, I hope this works. Uh oh. Uh oh, no, that that ain't working. That ain't working. Shit. What about the scientist uniform? Is that gonna work in this place? Probably not. Oh, especially not with a freaking Rykov mask on, you div. Now we just look like the world's most badass scientist. We look like a Bond villain. Guys, gonna say anything? Oh God! I'm so nervous right now. I, I mean, one way of checking is there a scientist? To yes, there is. Okay, so it looks like there are scientists about. Maybe we'll be okay in this uniform. Just not in the main hangar itself. Okay, right. Well, I want to try and find that. Uh, Submachine gun that wasn't here last time. The doors are all locked? Oh, apart from this one. Will you stay on the goddamn crates? Another mousetrap. I could have sworn the scorpion submachine gun was in this area. I could have absolutely been... Unless it's in one of these doors that we can't get in. I bet it is in one of those rooms. But how do we get in there? Is there a vent? I don't know. Hi. Oh yeah, we're totally okay. We're fine, we're fine. So how do we get in those doors then? Ah, this one's open. Aha! These are just some medical supplies. Suture kit. Uh... Is there a vent? Can't really see, it's very dark. Hmm.
Well, fuck it. We don't need it anyway. It's fine. What I do want to get, though, is, uh, is the camo that I mentioned in the locker room. We should be able to find those now. One of them in particular is going to be useful for a lot of the game now, and also one of them is going to be useful for the next bit. We should be able to find a maintenance uniform somewhere. But the sneaking suit should be in this locker now. There we go. Uniform sneaking. And look! Look at that! Metal Gear Solid 2! Oh, it's Raiden in the locker we stored Rykov in. Love it. No, t stop fucking with your glasses, Snake. There we go. Right, so which locker is it going to be? Is it going to be in something that's locked? There. I'm just going to try all the lockers, guys, because I know the maintenance uniform is in here somewhere. I prefer not having to kick the doors in. Because sometimes it just fucks up. So we'll just try all the ones that are open. Okay, we're not having much luck here, are we? Aha! There it is! Maintenance uniform. Beautiful. I always used to miss this back in the day. Didn't know it actually existed. Uh, so if we put our camouflage to the maintenance, wherever it is... Look at us! We are a maintenance man! I don't have any music for maintenance man, but here we go! This should make it a lot easier to get around the main wing. There's the beast itself. Ooh. Codec call. Radio call. Snake, I see you've managed to sneak into the hangar. Yeah, the Shagahod's in here. The completed Phase 2 Shagahod represents a grave threat to the West. We can't allow it to be mass-produced. You've got to destroy it. Eva's got the data on the Shagohod. Do you think that's safe? Well, I wouldn't exactly say it's safe, but Khrushchev is a shrewd leader. I can't imagine he'd use it for anything other than deterrence. Volgin, however, is a different story. He's planning to use the Shagohod to turn the Cold War into a blazing hot one. We can't let him have it. Agreed. That leaves just one more mission for you to carry out. The boss. Exactly. <sighs> For now, just focus on destroying the Shagahod. Yes, sir. I'll let Sigint fill you in on how to destroy it. Yo. You already know. Like Eva was saying, if you're looking to blow the whole place sky high, the best way is to take out those liquid fuel tanks with the C3. You know there's four tanks in there, right? You have to put C3 on all four of them. To plan a C3 charge, all you gotta do is equip the C3 and press the weapon button while standing in front of a tank. Just like TNT. But, uh, make sure you don't plant it in the wrong place. You barely got enough C3 as it is, right? Good point. I'll make sure not to plant it anywhere else. Good, man. And be careful. Liquid fuel has a nasty habit of going off at the slightest shot. So don't go using any heavy firepower near the tanks unless you're aiming to get yourself barbecued. I'll keep that in mind. The C3 charges all have to go off at once if you want to bring down the hangar in one fell swoop. So if I were you, I'd wait until after you plant the last charge to start the timer mechanism. All right. I'll make sure I finish planting all four charges before I start the timer. Once the timer's set, you've got 20 minutes until it explodes, right? So make sure you get your ass out of that place by then. I think that's about all I've got. The rest is up to you. Good luck, pal. Thanks, We're Sigin. counting on you, Snake. Yeah, I mean, Eva told me all of that, apart from maybe the fact that these tanks are slightly uh, fragile, you could say. Um, but yeah, I think I think we'll be able to do this. But we're going to do it next time, guys, uh, in the next episode of Metal Gear Solid 3. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. And yeah, shit's going to get explosive next time. Ho, ho, ho. We're pretty much at the last stretch of the game now, guys. A lot of epic shit's going to happen. I can't wait. And I, uh, I hope you look forward to it. So, ta-ta for now. From Snake the Maintenance Man.